Greetings Cyber Dogs! This is Rent Dog coming at you from the Nether in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were finishing off the towers of the cathedral entrance to the Nether Portal Temple, as well as burying our very good friend Jock the Dog, who unfortunately met his demise at the hands of a creeper. Oh God! Oh God, the tears! And uh, of course, we also uh, managed to breed a new puppy jock the <laughs> second and he has now joined the pack but guys welcome to this episode man it is going to be a freaking sweet ass episode guys we are in the nether and we are going to be building a pig man farm because what we want to do is start um, mining or start grinding gold nuggets so that we can make enough gold bars to make enough gold bricks to build granny dog's monument and so guys, I've been spending the last 30 minutes or so just digging out this cavity over here. Now the reason I've done this is so that I can collect a whole bunch of netherrack. And the reason we need a whole bunch of netherrack? Well, we need to build the platform of the Pigman farm. And I thought that what we should do is we should probably build that platform all the way out in this lava ocean over here, right? Because that's going to minimize um, where pigmen can actually spawn up in here. And um, that is the plan. So I want to build the pigman farm in this ocean to maximize on pigmen spawnage. And guys, um, I'm going to be doing this in peaceful mode because I think it's probably going to be absolutely impossible to do with gas floating around trying to blow up my ass. So um, I've switched the game mode to peaceful so that we can build this freaking farm um, uninterrupted and unabated and uh, we can get all the gold that we need for Granny Dog's Monument. And uh, before we start, guys, I just want to say that this the, this project, this Pigman project, is dedicated to Granny Dog and, um, and her memory. And hopefully we can make it really freaking sweet and uh, we can get it working really freaking well also. Um, so guys, here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to head out on a nether rack bridge all the way out there into the ocean. We're going to see if we can find a really good spot to build this farm as far away from all of this land as possible. And once we get to that spot, um, then I can explain a little bit more about um, how the nether uh, or how the pigman farm is actually going to work. Um, I've take I've looked at a couple designs on YouTube. Some of you guys have sent me some excellent links to pigman farm made by various YouTubers out there. And um, I'm basically just gonna going going from what I've watched, going from your guys' comments, and going from my own thinking. I'm gonna make this pigman farm the way that I think it's gonna work. I want to try and make it an AFK farm, right? So we can literally be AFK while we get gold nuggets. And um, I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but it's gonna be uh, quite a, a technical build, which is gonna be freaking sweet. Um, oh God. All right, so check it out, right? Look at this ocean, man. This is looking good. Looks like there's a nice open spot over there. Um, so we've got to try and get all the way over there if possible. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this build, man. This is going to be one of the, the more technical um, builds that we've done in this series. Um, I don't. It's not going to be an aesthetically pleasing build, I think. It's literally just going to be a sort of huge square spawner. <laughs> it's literally just going to be like a gold factory, right? With... Um, without any sort of coolness factor or anything to it. I mean, there's only so much you can do um, to make, you know, a pigman farm awesome. I mean, it's it's uh, it's pretty much just a giant um, mob spawner, basically. And, um, right, so, okay, so check. We've come all the way over here. Now, what I'm thinking is we need to get in there because, look, there's a whole bunch of um, platforms and stuff around this area. So let's try and get to the middle of this freaking lava lake up in here, man. And then we're going to try and figure out exactly the the size that we need to build this pig farm, this pig man farm. Um, it's probably going to be absolutely massive, right? Now, let me try explain how it's going to work, right? So, we are going to be making um, a pig man spawning platform or, or various pig men spawning platforms. And the idea is that the, the, the pig men are going to spawn at the top of the platform and then they're going to fall to their deaths at the bottom of the platform. And we are going to be, um, that is where the collection area will be. Now to collect the gold nuggets, what we're going to do is build um, a, a, a railway system where we can literally just sit in the middle of a minecart and just collect um, the nuggets as the, the minecart travels around the spawner. So all the, all the pigmen are going to fall to the bottom of the spawner and die. The nuggets are going to land at the bottom and then the, um, the, the, the minecart is going to travel past the nuggets 
in an eternal loop um, while we collect it. Um, so that is the that is the idea, guys, and um, I think I think it's going to work. I'm pretty confident that it's going to work, and uh, I think that this looks like a pretty good area. You can see the Nether's all all the way up there, man. It's pretty far away. Um, so maybe what maybe what I'm going to do now is actually start building the actual pigmen farm. Um, so guys, what I'm going to do is kick this bad boy into fast forward mode because this is going to take an absolute age to do, and uh, I'm going to build the the outline of the, um, the foundation for the, the, the spawner. And then once that is done, I'm gonna bring you back on the other side of this freaking kablooey, kablooey. I have never freaking held down shift so hard in my whole life and I just did there man. Damn. Uh, that was intense man. That is a lot of shift holding to do. Because um, of course if we don't hold shift uh, we can potentially fall in the lava and die like a noob. But guys this is going to be our freaking pigman spawner right here. This is going to, well this is the foundation of it anyway. And uh, what we need to do now is fill it out and man this is going to take a butt long time guys. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do man. I'm going to do this right now. And I'm going to carry on recording and probably put some of it on the next dog mail so you guys can see um, how it gets made. But once I have filled in the foundation of this bad boy, I'm going to bring you back on the other side of this kaplam! Kaplam! God damn it! <laughs> no! I freaking died, people! I freaking died! Oh god, I freaking died. Oh, and we lost 27 freaking levels, man. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Even my dogs are angry, man. Luckily, I put down all of my freaking sweet ass loot. <laughs> and all I had was freaking nether rack up in there, man. Oh, that sucks so much. I freaking died, man. Oh man. Um, well, you know what this means, guys. <laughs> We're gonna have to head over to the freaking graveyard. Um, because, yeah, I, I literally, I just died. And we're going to make our freaking gravestone out of nether stuff. Oh, man, what a bummer. Um, all of that nether rack, that, the, I mean, the, the only thing I'm really bummed about is losing all of that freaking nether rack, man. It means we're going to have to do a whole bunch of uh, nether rack farming again. Oh, man, guys, this, this is a sad day for the cyber dogs. And it's our first freaking death in this uh, season. First death of season two and uh, pretty bummed about that must say but it's all good it's all for a good cause all in the name of granny dog and uh, granny dog's monument so I mean we're probably gonna die a few more times I would think um, through, during doing this project basically what was the, okay let me try to explain what happened right I was trying to place the blocks and um, all I could see was lava and freaking nether rack so the the redness of the screen was it was actually making me feel a little bit queasy man I was starting to get a little bit ill and um, I literally just let go of shift and walk backwards I was disorientated and uh, and uh, uh, there's no excuse there's no excuse man we lost 27 freaking levels and a whole butt ton of netherrack oh god painful so um guys we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to uh, get a gravestone up man there have been a lot of gravestones going up in this graveyard over the last few episodes Batty, then Jock, and now Ren Dog. Oh God! All right, guys, let's build ourselves a let's build ourselves some sort of a a monument over here. <laughs> God damn it! I can't believe I died, man. That sucks so much. Uh, anyway, guys, hopefully we're going to be able to um, to finish that freaking platform without dying again. I think what I want to do is is make my grave out of soul sand to remind myself of the pain. The pain of death. 
Um, oh God, guys, there we go. So this is going to be um, our grave, our gravestone. Okay, it's a, it's a little bit out there. Okay, I'll admit it's a it's a little bit out there. Um, but you know, it it was a it was a nether death. So um, you know, got to try and get up there. make it like a scarecrow <laughs> that's awesome all right let's get a, let's get ourselves on this freaking graveyard over here man <sighs> r i p rain dog who died like a noob in the nether In the nether lava, lava pool. In the nether lava pool. <laughs> oh God, sad face. <laughs> there we go, guys. Oh man, first grave of, of season two. Sad times, man, <laughs> I have to say. But guys, let's get back to freaking um, getting this foundation built. I'm gonna head back to the nether um, farm some more netherrack and I will see you on the other side of this kaplam once that is all done Man, this has been an episode of kaplooey's kaplams and deaths <laughs> Guys, we'll see you in the on the other side of this kaplam Kaplam. All right guys. I'm bringing you back and uh, this is Rendog in the nether guys Welcome back and um, I've just been farming out a little bit more netherrack as you can see um, just just basically shaved the the Two or three layers of the roof of this little cabin over here so let's head back to the pigman farm um, foundation where we can carry on trying to work on the platform man i'm oh god I, sh I can't believe i didn't enchant something or at least repair something with those 28 levels before i freaking melted in lava man i tell you what you know minecraft is a crazy game no matter how long you play i mean and i've been playing this game a long time now man <laughs> you know for many years now um, no matter how long you play and no matter how invincible you think you might be um, you will always die and um, that is what that is one of the the interesting things that I find about uh, this game one of the things that I really love about this game is that even though on the surface it may look like a very easy game right it doesn't look like a, a difficult game um, you know you can play on peaceful um, if you want but even on peaceful as we've just seen you can still freaking die um, as I just did so um, <laughs> You know, what can I say guys? Minecraft, what a crazy ass game, man. Um, but guys, what I'm gonna carry on doing now is building this platform. I'm gonna bring you back when this platform is actually completely built. And um, I, I, it's gonna take forever, I think. Um, and <laughs> I'm actually gonna have to, I'm actually looking at my wall right now to, to, to look away from the, the redness of the screen. Because it's kind of making me feel ill, man. Um, but man, this is this is weird. This is like a mine project, a Minecraft project that's actually physically hurting my ass. It's actually physically hurting my brain. It's physically hurting my eyeballs, and um, <laughs> this is crazy, man. <laughs> um, but it's all worth it, man. It's all for an excellent, excellent cause, guys. So I will see you on the other side of this. Well, this is now what the fifth kaplam of the episode. <laughs> but when we rejoin each other on the other side of this kaplam, this giant ass platform will be complete. And uh, we will see you in one second. Comply!
Doggy, that was crazy, people. Oh my goodness. I have been doing this for basically an hour now, <laughs> non-stop, and I hope you guys enjoyed some of that footage um, showing you exactly how I was building this pigman spawner platform going back and forth to go and freaking harvest some more netherrack every now and then but guys we have built the platform and it is looking freaking sweet damn and guys hopefully this is going to be big enough to spawn enough pigmen for us to efficiently get enough gold to build granny dog's monument so um before we carry on guys i want to explain to you exactly how this is going to work right so basically what we're going to have is we're going to have um um, basically horizontal columns like this two blocks thick right um, let's just get rid of these two so these are going to go all the way up into um, the sky 24 blocks high right so um, on top of these platforms the pigmen are going to spawn up here right 24 blocks up in the air and then all along this side are going to be signs and basically what's going to happen is the pigmen are going to spawn and then they're going to wander onto the sign thinking it's a block and then they're going to fall down and uh, fall down 24 blocks and die now at the bottom here um, of the mob spawner will be a train track in the middle here right so the the pigmen are going to fall off onto this uh, row and then there's going to be a rail track on this row and then the next pigman column is going to be over here right so that gives you a general idea of how it's going to work um so the rail is over here, um, the pigmen are going to fall onto this side and onto this side and die. So as I go past um, these platforms over here on the rail cart, we will connect, collect the nuggets that have uh, fallen out of the pigmen as they have fallen to their death. Now what we need to do is make sure that these rows are slabbage so that um, pigmen don't spawn inside the spawner itself. And um, I don't believe that pigmen will spawn on rail uh, wear lines, so that is cool. And that's all, just basically going to continue all the way around like this until all the platform is, is completed. Now, the reason we made the platform so big, of course, is because for every two rows of pigmen spawning platformage, we need three rows of a nugget collecting um, area, a rail line and another nugget connecting area before the next pigman spawnage platforms. So that's why we needed to make this platform so freaking huge um, so that we could get that right. But guys, <laughs> I'm going to have to end the episode here because let me tell you, man, I'm actually feeling queasy from doing this work. Uh, this is the first time that, I've, that Minecraft has ever made me feel sick. Um, so I'm going to have to take a break now and go and maybe walk outside a bit. My eyes are, are literally cross-eyed at the moment. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, it's been a crazy one, but in the next episode, we're going to carry on working on the Pigman spawner. I'm going to spend the next hour or so collecting enough, enough netherrack and slabbage for us to move on to the next section of the Pigman spawner. Guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, do show me the love by hitting that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. You better freaking subscribe or the first gold nugget that I get out of the spawner is going directly up your freaking ass and trust me you don't want that happening man gold nuggets up the ass that is painful jazz guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys we will see you in the next next one this is Rendog signing off give me a high five cyber dogs